Hi everyone, welcome back to The Makeup Chair. We are starting a new series on this channel all about eye makeup. If you haven't seen it already, definitely check up here in the description box on how to create a flawless base. But let's have a little bit of fun and dive into the world of eye makeup. So last week we talked about creating that frame with your eyebrows, and now we're gonna talk about prepping our canvas. And there's three different ways that you can prep your canvas or prep your lid. And each one of these has a different reason. Sometimes it's about creating the right base, sometimes it's about working out some issues you might have on your lid, or if you just want your eyeshadows to really show up. One of these three things will definitely help you. Before I get into prepping though, I want to explain why we have to do certain things. The skin on our body, our face, our lips, our eyes, it's all very different and it reacts to makeup differently. For instance, if you've ever swatched anything on your wrist and then you've swatched that same color on your eye, you see how much sheer it can look on your eyes sometimes compared to your wrist? This is because the skin is very different. The skin on the eyelids is very, very sheer and it doesn't hold on to makeup unless it's been prepped. You can also have some skin problems. So you might have dry dryness, oiliness on your lid. You might have some texture problems as well where you have little cracks or little creases on the lid. Or maybe eyeshadow just doesn't show up because you have quite pigmented lids. The good thing is, no matter what problem you have, prepping will definitely help you. So the first way to prep your lid is the most basic and it's sort of the everyday old fashioned way of prepping your lid. And all you have to do is apply a little bit of your concealer and then just set that with a setting powder. What this does is it just blurs out any issues on your skin and then it also sets with the powder so that your eyeshadows are gonna be sitting nicely on top of a powdered base. Powder on top of powder, gives a nice smooth line and it helps to really blend. And this is a great one for everyday makeup looks, something soft and subtle, or just to brighten up your eyes in general. The next one then is to actually use an eyeshadow primer and primers come in lots of different formulas. Some for drier skin, some for oily skin, mature lids. There's so many different ones to choose from. Now the reason we use eyeshadow primers is because they're a little heavier duty. They create a boundary on the lid. You gotta remember, our lids are really, really thin. So in order to protect our eyes, priming will definitely help, especially if you're using glitters, heavy pigments, anything that might irritate the eyes. You gotta remember there's a very thin thin layer between your actual eye and your lid. So by applying your eyeshadow primer, this will help create a nice barrier and protect the lid. Not only that, but it actually give the eyeshadow something to grab hold of and it will help it to last a little bit longer. So by creating a thicker base, we have something to hold on to, something nice to sit on top of, and it'll also help with the blending process as well. And primers can also help with the texture of your skin too. So if you've got little cracks or little creases in your lid where you find that your eyeliner in particular, if you're using liquid, tends to sort of bleed and sort of fade out into these little cracks, by prepping correctly, this will prevent that because it kind of fills in any of those little cracks. So there are the reasons to use step two, but for step three, this is a great one for beginners and it's a lot of fun to try as well. Option three is about using creams. Cream eyeshadows, cream bases, liquid bases, and apply this on the lid and then go in with your powders. This is great for beginners because it gives you an option of trying maybe not the most pigmented powdered eyeshadows. So you're gonna really be able to see those eyeshadows show up a little bit more. Cool thing is you can also then mix and match your combination. So you might go for a matte base with a shimmer on top or a shimmer base with a matte on top. You can go for different colors. You can go for light or dark colors. It doesn't necessarily have to be a blue base with a blue eyeshadow over the top. You can mix and match the two. If you want to create a navy eyeshadow, for instance, apply a dark base and then a blue over the top or vice versa. This will give you a chance to try lots of different combinations. And it's a super cool one for beginners. So if you're struggling to get your eyeshadows to show up, definitely give that a try because it's a lot of fun and it definitely shows up on camera. Now, whichever one of the three options you try, you know that your canvas is gonna be prepped and ready for eyeshadow. And that is this step complete. If you learned something, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't, definitely leave a comment and I'll try and help you out and I'll see you in the next one.